Uh, hi guys, uh, I got a pump here from the uh, M127 engine. I've been working on it for past few days and uh, I think I got pretty good results so far. Although the pump was not seized uh, completely when I started, so that was definitely a plus. Uh, anyway, I'd like to show you how the rack is moving freely now. You can see it by inserting this uh, 5 mm screw, 508 thread pitch. I think you can screw it into a rack, then just pull it, see, and the rack comes back on its own very quickly and precisely. Uh, you push it that away and it does exactly the same thing. Very smooth, I can feel it by pressing it. There's no hesitation, uh, no edginess or anything like that very smooth and nice um, i just used the uh, transmission fluid to run it through soak it i would put it in and then let it soak and kind of drain it and do it again and again uh, and over the course of few days it um, it just cleans itself out uh, the key here, I guess, is not to rush with anything because I do not have the tools, to proper tools, to put the pump together if I was to disassemble it completely. Uh, I will still have the pump flow tested at the proper facility. Um, at this point, I cannot. Uh, I would love to show you how well the cylinders are moving and everything, but um, uh, the pump is disassembled. I can show you right now um, and I'm waiting on some bits and pieces that will come back to me uh, Monday, Tuesday and as well as some new bits that I bought. As you can see the tops are removed so at this point I don't really want to uh, move the shaft uh, along and, and uh, disturb anything. Uh, especially those shims and stuff. Uh, I did have this stuff out one by one and then put the stuff, clean it up and put the stuff put uh, back together. Um, the fuel flows pretty good, although at this point I have no idea of measuring it accurately enough uh, to know if, uh, if the operation is going to be a success. Uh, anyway, I'm happy with the results so far and uh, I think if you have the pump that's not stuck, you can try it as well. Uh, take great care removing pieces, mark it all down, put it in separate bags, Ziploc bags, write it down, make sure you don't make any mistakes and the best is to do it one by one. If the pump is stuck or if anything, if you feel a resistance on uh, any of the pieces you try to move, uh, don't force it. You're just gonna cause damage to the pump. The only, uh, the only thing you can do is just uh, kind of soak it and wait, soak it and wait. Try, try to flush it out. Uh, I did flush the oil three or four times. I was uh, on this unit here, as you can see, uh, there's an oil dipstick, so I, I did use that. To drain it, you can just take that guy out. At this point, there's very little oil, if any, problem mixed with transmission fluid, which uh, I will have it removed after this video. So yeah, actually, you don't see much transmission fluid penetrating here, but um, that's that's what I did use. I use a mixture. First, I started with oil, kind of try to flush uh, the old stuff out. And, and then continue with the transmission fluid and uh, we'll see where where this takes me. Uh, so far looks like the pump is moving. How accurate it will be? Only time will tell when when the pump goes on an actual testing stand. So that's what's happening. Uh, I will update you once uh, once I have all the all the other bits and pieces on it. I will maybe shoot another video and, and see what happens.